Hi, I'm Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, today's Friday, the 5th of April. Um, we, uh, we sent a letter to the, the, the Attorney General's office um, beginning of the week, uh, offering them uh, a sit-down chat about this little situation that we have, and I, I uh, wanted to sit face-to-face -face with them. Uh, they have not responded to our correspondence. So, it's too bad. Um, I had a solution to this problem, and so I'm going to I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, a lot of what I'm going to be talking about, and I apologize. I know some of the people listening to this uh, um, math and science are something that could be foreign to you, but um, just bear with me. I, I think I can get you through this. Okay. Now I want to go through the numbers that the DNR has put out there as far as feral swine. Now remember, a feral swine is defined as a pig or a swine. Swine is the uh, species name that has been abandoned or has escaped, right? And has made it into the wild and rewild itself in order to survive. That's what a feral swine is, right? Now it could be any color, it could be any configuration, any um, tail structure, it could be any ear structure, it could have any length foot, it could be three-legged. It just has to do with where it lives and how it lives. It's almost like a homeless person. You couldn't really say that homeless people are primarily Irish. You know, you couldn't do that. I picked that because I'm Irish. Alright, um, so feral swine in the state of Michigan uh, the Department of Natural Resources on their website states that in 2008, beginning of 2008, we had between 1,500 and 8,000 feral animals running around in the woods in Michigan. Terrible thing. So, um, they offer this, the solution that they offer to that is, well, let's get rid of any pig uh, that has a curly tail or a straight tail. Let's get rid of any pig that has uh, hind foot length. You know, you know the routine. All right, so it's not a very good idea. All right, but let's just go through their numbers a little bit. Um, and some of the things that they have said about feral swine, they probably know more about it than I do because I, I've never uh, been in contact with a feral swine. I've never seen one. The, all the swine that I have on my farm, they're all domestic. Uh, you know, we imported them from, uh, from out of the country. Uh, not from Russia, uh, but they have never been feral. I've never captured a feral animal like in Texas and brought it here or anything like that. And I don't, I don't know anybody that has. Um, I wanted to dispel any notions about that too. Uh, I, I, I don't think that actually goes on, but if it does, I have no knowledge of that. Uh, my pigs have never been used for hunting purposes ever. I've never sold a pig to a hunting preserve. Uh, that's not my thing. All right. Okay, let's go through this real quick. Um, the DNR has said that pigs, the pig life is about 10 years, and I would agree with that. As a breeder, I'd say our sows stay around for about 10 years. They've said that feral swine are prolific breeders. What that means is, uh, I can qualify that, is a pig will has a gestation period of 114 days. So that means every, about every 114 days, she can have a litter, all right, if you really breed them um, hard. And if they were in the woods, living wild, as soon as that mother was open, that means she had had her babies, they're on the ground, they're little, tiny, but a boar would be on her, impregnating her again. So she could, you know, every 114 days have, a, have another litter. So they can almost have three, if you do the math on that. I know that's a tough one. 114 times three. Um, Almost three a year. Uh, the DNR has said that feral swine have no natural predators. Okay, so I guess that like no mountain lions or anything like that in Michigan. We all know those, those don't exist. Um, and they've also said that they are elusive. All right. Okay, so let's go through these numbers a little bit. <clears throat> this was the beginning of 2008. They say there's between 1,500 and 8,000. All right, we've got to assume, let's, let's use this number here. Um, let's see. I hope that 
didn't stop it. Let's use this number here. Let's use the 1500. We could use the 8000 if we want, but that would just goes over the top too fast. 1500, we're going to assume that half of those are females. Half of them are sows, right? So a sow can breed when she's six months old, in, and she would in the wild. All right, in uh, domestic production, we don't do it that soon. We'll let them go through one or two cycles, and then we'll breed them. <clears throat> okay, so let's assume that half of this number, 1,500, are sows. So we'll take the number 750, all right? Um, a mother pig will have between six and 10 pigs per litter. Right? She, at her peak, she can have 10. Uh, leading up to it, she's a little bit less. And coming down the other side of her peak, she's a little less too. So let's just take the number five. All right? Let's say she's going to have five. And instead of saying three farrowings per year, let's just say two, just to make it easy. So the, our factor is going to be a factor of 10. All right? Okay, so mother pig has 10 babies the first year, which is 2008. That's when the the DNR started noticing all these pigs around. And so at the end of 2008, we're going to have 7,500 pigs. That's a lot of pigs. All right, let's take half of that, all right? Um, and we go into 2009, and we've got 3,750, 3,750 pigs times 10. Whoa, now we're up to 37,500 pigs. That's a lot of pigs at the end of 2009. All right, let's take half of that, half of 37,000. It's going to be 18,750. All right, times 10 is going to be 187,500. If That's an interesting number because the entire population of Dearborn, Michigan is 98,153 people. So at the end of 2012, we had more feral pigs in the state of Michigan than we have residents in Dearborn, Michigan. I thought that was interesting. Okay, now going into 2011, we're going to take half of that, and that's 93,750 times 10. And now we really get up there, we're at 937,500. 937,500 pigs. That's a lot of pigs. Half of that, going into 2012, is going to be 468,750 times 10 is going to be 4,687,500. So now we've got 4,687,500 pigs in 2012. 2012 is a landmark year because that was the year that the DNR showed these numbers to the legislature. And uh, bless their hearts, um, they, uh, they're working so hard down there in Lansing that they, they, they don't see the lack of feral swine out there. And they said, boys, we've got a problem here, so we better do something about it. And the legislature vo voted to um, have a shoot on site law. So that was 2012, all right? 2012, we had a whopping, and this is by the, uh, the DNR's number, they had a whopping 42 animals shot. Um, we, of course, we haven't seen the pictures of them, so we don't know what they look like, but they have touted several times this 42 whole animals were shot out of 4,687,000. Okay. Then we go into 2013, and this is where I offer my solution, okay? At the end of 2013, and you know, we thought we were going to have some economic problems this year, but I've got a solution to that. We, we're going to have 23,437,500. Well, that's a lot of pigs. Um, the population of the state of Michigan is 9,888,640. So at the end of this year, we're going to have more pigs than we have people. The DNR, you know, I, they just didn't look at this correctly. It could be a bad thing. More pigs than people could be a bad thing, right? 
Well, herein lies the solution to our economic woes. Um, now, what I propose and what I was going to propose to the Attorney General's office is get rid of the declaratory ruling, back off, make things right with me and my family, and then let's start looking at that number right there. Now, as you all know, the DNR is going to raise uh, the cost for you to shoot a deer this year from $15 to $30. Huh. That's a pretty steep increase in price, and I think they're going to take a lot of flack for it. Now, the, the deer population in the state of Michigan in 1980, that was the last time they did a, an in-depth study, was between 1 and 2 million. They came pretty close, 1 and 2 million, pretty close. Uh, but now, at the end of this year, we're going to have 23 million feral swine. And uh, I, I just think instead of raising the cost of a deer hunting permit, let's start charging, say, $10. $10 per feral swine that's shot, right? Um, it, it, and it costs, all right? The DNR is going to get that money, right? So let's say uh, they issue, uh, I don't know, they could issue uh, 4 million permits. So 4 million times 10, that's a chunk of change. You know, maybe uh, they could lower the cost of a deer hunting tag instead of increasing it. And um, I guess maybe they don't notice, like down there in Lansing, but, you know, we sure notice up here there's an awful lot of folks that don't have enough to eat and uh, are struggling just to make ends meet. Now, if we had 23 million feral swine running around in the woods here, I think there'd be people out shooting them because you can eat them. Now, I know you guys have said that they carry disease, but they can't carry disease and be prolific breeders. Nature don't work that way. I know you don't understand that. Nature does not work that way. If they are disease ridden, they will not propagate in the wild. Of course, we know this is all made up because I've briefed several big crowds of people in this state several times and out of state many times. And I always ask, has anybody ever seen a feral pig? And not one time has someone raised their hand, not once, right? So, Mr. Attorney General, you're playing a game here with people's lives and your numbers suck. Now, I know you're not going to want to go to court and have these numbers uh, put out there in front of the public, but that's exactly what we're going to do. You want to ruin lives, you want to ruin farms with these numbers. You can't do that. I need this video um, to go viral because this is the truth about feral swine in the state of Michigan. This is the truth. And if somebody can dispute this, I would like to hear it, all right? Now, I use this number, 1,500. If I had used the 8,000 number, this number down here would be out of sight. There would be more pigs in the state of Michigan than there are picket fences. I don't know what they're... All right, so let's, let's get serious about this, and uh, let's get this circulated. I need as many people to see this as absolutely possible. I'm going to sign off for now. Thanks a lot. Have a good weekend.